Hey everybody, welcome back. What's going on? Kicking a little bit old school here with a little vlog style video. It's actually 12.55 a.m. right now, about to call it a night, but we just finished watching Jurassic Park for I think it was the 24th time in my life. Probably somewhere around there. But uh, tomorrow we've got a really exciting day. I'm actually going to get vaccinated tomorrow, so... That'll be an experience, but that's at about, I think it was 140, something like that. Also, we're going to be going to West Edmonton Mall prior to that, because that's in the vicinity of where I have to get vaccinated. And of course, in West Edmonton Mall is the Lego store, so I'll probably pop by there and check out the Lego store. And then I also have to meet somebody as we're uh, sold something on, on BrickLink, and we're going to meet them at West Edmonton Mall as well. So that's that's always fun. I don't know, we might uh, pop by Toys R Us, maybe uh, just check out some other Lego locations in that vicinity. And I'm waiting for my local seller just to pick my BrickLink order. So I'll have to see if that's ready to go in the morning. And then if that's ready to go, we'll also go pick that up as well. Yeah, welcome to a vlog style video. We've got lots of stuff going on tomorrow and we're going to just sort of vlog it up and uh, record the process or not really the process, I guess the experience of of all that fun stuff, so let's get right to it in the morning. Well, good morning, Luna. Looks like you've made your way from the couch to the bed. And you're looking pretty comfortable. And hello, Tico. Good morning to you as well. You guys, uh, you guys wanna go for a walk? Tico? Tico, do you wanna go for a walk? Big sneeze. Whoa. It's a beautiful day today. It's still before 9 o'clock and I'm wearing a t-shirt, which is nice. Taking the dogs for a good old classic W or walk, eh? Getting our day started here, Mrs. Brixie and I. Plus, I'm wearing the Birkenstocks. Oh, heck yeah. I'm just saying, if you're a breakfast connoisseur and you enjoy toast, try putting a little bit of peanut butter on there and then a little bit of honey. Absolutely delicious, I tell you. It is fantastic. You gotta love the sight of that in the morning, eh? Whoa! Toast just popped right up there. Making some coffee. So I'm just down here in the Lego room, you know, just getting all fired up for the day. We're about to head on out, do some Lego shopping. It's gonna be fantastic. Who knows? Mastermind Toys, Walmart, maybe uh, Toys R Us, for sure the Lego store, because we're going to West Edmonton Mall anyway. And I know we are building a zoo right now. We've actually started working on it. It's right over there. I won't show you what we've done because that would just be crazy of me. But we need some more animals. And I'm hoping that we can find some sets at the Lego store that have animals in them. Whether it's brick-built animals in the Creator 3-in-1 section or animals in city packs. I know there's a bunch of new animals coming out here this summer of 2021 with like elephants and lions and stuff like that that can be found in the new city sets. But we're hoping maybe we can find some at the Lego store today, even if they're in like friend sets or whatever, just sort of have a browse. Also, we'll take a look at the pad wall and see if we can find any valuable parts and pieces to create our zoo because the zoo is gonna be on gray base plate and we wanna build it all up. And in order to do that, it's gonna take a lot of brick. So we're gonna see if we can find any valuable pieces that can go toward creating our zoo up the pad wall as that's just gonna be more efficient and yeah, more efficient and obviously more cost effective for us to do. So we're really excited to uh, head on out to uh, do some shopping and just some browsing. Also, there's some other stuff that we gotta get uh, at the mall as well. So we'll take you on this little shopping vlog adventure here today in this vlog style video. Pretty pumped about it, pretty happy, pretty stoked. You know, I come down here, I drink my coffee after eating the breakfast and walk on the dogs and I just get fired up on the day, you know? Just get fired up. Right on, it's gonna be a good one. So everybody, Jose and I are making a pretty big move here. This is all of my camera equipment that I've acquired over the last few years. So we've got a GoPro Hero 6, a GoPro Hero 9 with the media mod, which I recently got. Also the Samsung AX53 camcorder here, 4K camcorder, and these headphones, and also this gimbal for the GoPro. I just listed all of this stuff on Facebook Marketplace, and we're going to sell all of this stuff, and I'm going to be picking up a new camera, essentially, which is designed to condense my kit, which means I'm going to pick up a universal camera that can do 
essentially everything a GoPro can do and everything that this camcorder can do and just sort of condense my kit so everything's all in one spot, if you will. And right now, of course, I'm filming on my uh, Samsung Galaxy S21. This is what we're gonna be filming with today and we're potentially gonna be buying a new camera today as well. With, of course, the funds that we get from all this stuff here. I'm here to get my vaccine now. So everybody, that went well. Oh, I feel like uh, the winter soldier though, you know? The arms boosted, I tell you. Where are we to now, Jose? The Lego store, right? The Lego store. Yeah, the Lego store. Close your door. Excellent. She's telling me to close my door. Let's go to West Seven Tomorrow, everybody. You know what? We need a little bit of Wendy's. Maybe a little frosty, a little uh, junior bacon cheeseburger, or whatever they're called. Hi, welcome to Wendy's. Just a little pick me up there, a little tiny junior bacon cheeseburger and a frosty. Nice. You can't go wrong with a classic Wendy's frosty and junior bacon cheeseburger. Fantastic. You see that over there? That's Mastermind Toys right there. We'll be back here soon, but we've got to go to the mall first. We're about to say uh, goodbye to this guy right here. And we're at uh, London Drugs looking at our camera kit here. I want to get it in black, but this is it here. This is the Sony Vlogger, and it's the Vlogger kit. So you get this little handle here that you can zoom and offers a tripod, like a little mini tripod or a selfie stick. But this apparently is one of the top cameras for vloggers, which obviously I do a lot of. So I'm thinking by getting this camera here, we'll be able to condense our kit, get rid of that uh, camcorder, and also get rid of that GoPro and just have a condensed awesome version with awesome quality and I might even be able to get away with just using this for my microphone not have to use my wireless microphones anymore turns out they only have the white camera in stock here so we're probably gonna have to try a different store so that's really too bad about the video camera situation but hey there's a Lego store right around the corner so that's pretty good I guess Let's head on inside and check it out. It looks like, surprisingly enough, they still have the free gifts with purchase. Well, Star Wars purchases. If you were to buy the new R2-D2, you'd get those free gifts. Or maybe even some of the helmets that they have on display right over here by the Disney cast. There we go, look at that. Scout Trooper, probably the most realistic looking helmet. Best depicts any of the characters, I think. Vader. And also the probe droid. Beauty. So we're looking for things for our farm, but I don't think the Duplo animals are gonna make the cut, although they are pretty cute. We'd be looking for friends, maybe city animals. Don't think the city lineup has any animals right now. We're also gonna check out the uh, pab wall to see if there's anything awesome that we can find. Also, sometimes the Disney sets have some good animals in them as well, such as Sven right there or Sebastian and Flounder. There's our free promo still on display there. So actually, I was looking at this set right here, which is the Porsche 911 Turbo or Targa. And there's actually a really cool alternate build. I'll put a photo of that up right now. And that's on rebrickable.com. Hey, look, they also have the Corner Garage Assembly Square, Pirates of Barracuda Bay and all that stuff in stock. And keep in mind, guys, we got the new Lego Friends apartment set coming out in the near future. That was just revealed earlier this week. So that is something to be excited about. Giraffes, dinosaurs, alligators. They always have the brick built animals in these sets, including the shark and the three in one pirate ship. The larger shark down here, along with the lion, a dragon. And actually, pretty soon, we're going to be getting a large crocodile, alligator, I believe. But the screen one sets always come with brick-built animals. But I'm not sure if we want to integrate brick-built animals into our zoo or if we're just trying to get all molded animals. Although, it would be pretty neat to get a couple of these giraffes here. Because they depict them at a pretty cool scale. And we could use those additional parts to create a pretty cool area in the zoo for the giraffes. Let me tell you guys, I'm really excited to get the new video camera here. I can't wait to continue this little shopping trip and, and get the camera situation figured out. It's gonna be amazing. But over here, we've got some brick built animals in the Minecraft area as well, which is pretty sweet. 
never really looked at the mine, Minecraft stuff. This like pig house like falls apart in a pretty cool fashion. Comes with some interesting minifigures as well. But I personally haven't played Minecraft before, so don't have much interest in that, right? Yeah, you got some cool looking stuff over here, of course, in the Marvel DC section. Let's have a quick look at some of the friend stuff here as they have some pretty cool animals. Like this one here, the Panda Jungle Treehouse. Look at that. It's a panda ripping down a slide there, having a grand old time. Also down here, we got an elephant. I think I prefer the look of the new elephants coming out in the city lineup. We got some llamas right here. Bunch of cool stuff in the friend sets, including some horses and stuff like that. I don't know though, I think we can order those pandas as much as I do like them, we can order for a few dollars on uh, on Bricklink. And we can save the expense of $40. However, we might be able to work some of those parts and pieces into the habitat, so it's something to consider. Even something like this we could probably work into our zoo. Look at those fun slides and stuff that we could have for the animals maybe. I don't know. Now we're here to take a look at the pad wall. They're adding a sick piece right now and we are Pretty psyched to get it. Hey, I like this little arch piece there. Might be good to use somewhere. They're adding a really cool piece right now. We're pretty stoked on it actually. We actually recently just ran out of the pieces, uh, or these particular pieces that they're about to put on here. So that is rather exhilarating. I, every time I come here, I always eye these up. I like the arch pieces. I just think that we can use those somewhere. Got some jumpers, some arches, some plates. I need some brick. And this is the piece that I was referring to, the two by two circular brown tile. Ooh, we use those for uh, making our dirt road in the campground. Inside our zoo, we're putting in a farm. We could make a carrot farm. Jose's also eyeing up some of these green flowers here as well. I'm gonna go meet somebody here. And we're gonna offload that uh, set I showed you earlier. And Jose's gonna fill cups while we're doing that. Jose got a little bag of pab stuff here. Let's uh, head on outside here and see what she got. Curious. Like I literally don't even know. <laughs> she just gave me the bill. It looks like she's got three cups here. So we've got some dark nougat, two by sixes, also some tan uh, cheese wedges there. Some turquoise, one by two blue plate, or not blue, but turquoise plate, I guess. Uh, some flowers, some more of those nougat two by sixes, which would be good for creating dirt and stuff like that. Also some cheese wedges in blue and some one by two tiles in white. Hopefully she got some of those brown, those brown two by two circulars. So this would be good for terrariums and, and uh, animal exhibits. Some more blue one by two plate, probably for texturing water and stuff like that. Some carrots and some coral one by ones and some uh, purple one by ones along with some large dish elements. Did she not get those circular pieces? No, there's some extra scoops in there. Like some more plates and stuff like that, but I don't see any of those circular tiles that we were really hyped on, so I don't know what she's doing. I'll have to talk to her about it, I guess, eh? What piece did you forget to get? I don't know. The two by two circular brown tile. Oh. oh remember when we they first... were hiding. They were hiding. So we're gonna go back and get another cup of those. <laughs> there we go. Now we got our brown tiles. Woohoo! And a while back we bought a new Thomas Kincaid photo. They were just framing it for us, and we just picked that up right here. That puts us at six Thomas Kincaid canvases now. Oh my gosh. I think this is coming home with us. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. It's Lego colors. It's Lego colors. It's that is so <laughs> sweet. Oh, that's so cool. Remember earlier when I was showing you my peanut butter and honey toast? We're actually in the market for a new toaster that can toast four pieces of toast. 100 bucks. Only one option here at Bed Bath & Beyond. I think we'll leave that one. Look at this one, you can see it toasting. Whoa, it's a weird toaster. Yeah, I think we'll leave it here though, with only the one option. See, they're all like this. We're looking for them to be like long lines. My mom has one like that and it's a little more compact. It's like this, 
but it's double long, not double thick. Just fits better on our counter there. Even London Drugs is letting us down today. What the heck? All right, maybe that's enough with the toaster shopping. Let's get back to the Lego. We still got to go to Mastermind Toys today and also Toys R Us. And we got to pick up that vlogger camera. I'm still content on doing that. Our next Lego stop is Mastermind Toys. So Mastermind Toys is actually legendary for releasing things early and putting things on sale even early. So I see some of the new stuff up there, you know, but none of the new stuff that I came here looking for. Apparently some of the brand new sets that haven't even been announced yet have been hitting the shelves, I think in the US and, in also, and also in the UK. So I came here today hoping to maybe see some of that because that would be absolutely legendary. Don't really see anything out of the norm here. But I did see 50% off some Lego sets actually at the front when I walked in. So of course we'll check those out. And our next stop will also be Toys R Us as usually they have sales on there. So I guess these two dot poly bags right here are 50% off. You get 109 tiles in each of them. You can see some come with like specialized print pieces, with like different emojis and diamonds and hearts and stuff like that. It looks pretty cool. They retail for five bucks here in Canada, so I get them for two dollars and fifty cents. I'm gonna pick these up and see if Jose likes those for our uh, fence project and. If they're worthy, then maybe we'll come back and get more. Over here, I actually found more Lego 50% off. These are the Ninjago pods. So the regular $15, they're on for $7.50. That's actually a really good deal. I picked up a bunch of these at Walmart when they were on a similar price. So if you guys are at Mastermind Toys here in Canada and you want to pick these up for $7.50, here they are 50% off. Uh, ours are actually going to be all given away during a raffle that we're hosting at the Brick Bin on May long weekend, on uh, Saturday, May 22nd, we're gonna be giving away all 20 pods that I got at Walmart there at that event. So I'm pretty excited about that, but if you guys need some, there you go. There's a good deal, yo. So Jose's pretty stoked on that uh, pickup there. Yes. Those are good for the fence elements. Yeah. My, thought, my thought process is though, is there's this new dots kit coming out this summer that has a thousand one by one tiles. And there's a lot more of the square ones. Mm -hmm. These are a lot of the quarter rounds and circular. Circular, we have a lot of quarter rounds. We have quite a bit of, but I think the square- Not anymore. I've um, used like a significant amount mm -hmm. for those walls. Um, like I don't, I can't really do much more actually. Like okay. I need that thousand pack. It's hilarious. I'm actually, that's one of the, like, like my low, my most anticipated sets releases Those of sets. the spring i guess which is just funny it's a good little kit for sure yeah so i guess uh we might go back there i don't know well i mean these have some fun pieces like there's like the glittery trans yeah. blue there's like some emojis so yeah, yeah. well uh, let's go to toys r us and see what's going down there See if there's any sales or deals on there. These are a steal of a deal, 50% off, but I think we should wait for the kit personally. I mean, I know that's a long, it's not that long way. It's like, it's not like a month away. We can get the kit with a thousand pieces, which is still a better PPP price per piece than these, even at 50% off, I think. Still, still a fun thing to get though. For sure. I like the emojis. I'll find a, a good use. Let's go to Toys R Us. Here we go, here we go, here we go. They don't sell toasters here, but guess what? They sell Lego. Should say, guess what? No deals here at Toys R Us. Dang it. I was sort of hoping that they have the, the three-in-one sets on De on Delio because uh, I'd like to get some of those drafts. The Safari mm -hmm. Outpost or whatever the heck it's called. Yeah, they didn't have that at the logo store, so. No, yeah, they did. I didn't see it. They didn't have it on sale. Oh. But they had it there. Yeah, so off to our next stop, which is Camera Pit Stop. Mm -hmm. And then maybe Walmart on the way out. Oh yeah, we gotta go to the Home Depot here get this paint shaken. Now I guess we're back at London Drugs round three, a different one. Hopefully they got the camera we're looking for in stock. So they uh, had two in stock there. One was white and one was black. I want to get the black one. But the black one had been clearly opened. It had like fingerprints on the camera. The cord was like all loose and no longer in its twist tie. So it had been clearly returned. 
I'm not looking for a used kit. So we're gonna go to Viztech, which is my favorite camera store here in Edmonton. So I guess it's not the end of the world. I mean, we're somewhat close to Edmonton downtown and that's where Viztech is. And that's where we're gonna go pick up this camera now. The third store, that's funny. I actually called Viztech this morning to confirm that they have them in stock. And then I was at London Drugs and I was like, oh, they have them in stock at London Drugs. I can save the drive downtown. Now I've been to two different London Drugs and both of them failed miserably despite what the, the staff said, in my opinion. Usually I can count on London Drugs, it's good, but uh, I know Viztech is, is impeccable and the service there is impeccable. So we're gonna make a little trek down to downtown Edmonton here, right by Grand McCune University to pick up uh, our new vlogger camera pretty excited and we'll test the camera in this video as well i'm pretty pumped about that did we learn a lesson we learned a lesson just support local support local well, <laughs> it's canada wide but yeah we learned a lesson we go learned to, a lesson we go to the go to the profo go to the professional camera stores for sure so everybody here in edmonton well alberta in general we've got two seasons winter and construction Stuck in a little construction uh, zone right now as we speak. Holy smokes, they're just ripping apart the road there. Look at them go. Wow. All right, here we go. Now we're at Viztech. So here they have all the professional gear. Like check out those uh, lights. Those would be a great addition to the old uh, filming area for sure. They've got like all the crazy tripods and stuff too. And then like all the microphones and stuff as well, of course gimbals, everything that you can think of them. They got like webcams and lenses, all sorts of camcorders back here, everything. I can't wait to get our new camera. Oh, I'm so pumped. Our audio video, I hope, is gonna go through the roof with this thing in all aspects of our videos, whether it's vlogs like this here, Lego room updates, uh, reviews anything like that so we've got this thing here which can control the zoom take photos record also acts as a little tripod or a selfie stick and then we've got the camera here that is just epic and we're going to crack this thing open and uh, test it out in this video once we get home still got to go to walmart on the way home hey jose are you a happy shopper what'd you find toaster. it's a nice looking toaster it's only what 30 bucks or something like that we're here in the Lego aisle at Walmart now. Hey, I see lots of rollback prices juting off the, uh, the old rack here. Check this out, I wish I was here earlier. Clearance, $69, regular price $109.86 for none other than the party boat. That would have actually been a steal of a deal if you asked me for party boats. Like, that's just awesome. Looks like we got some dinosaurs down here on the left side. They've got some friend stuff on sale right down here. You've got a Frozen set with Spen for $34. Only a $5 savings on that guy there, but a $10 savings on this friend's set here. And also a $10 savings on this Minion set down here, which really doesn't seem that bad, does it? You've got some generic classic sets on sale. And some city stuff up here as well. I think there's some better deals as we make our way down the rack here. I thought I saw some. Oh, this one here. This little vehicle for $5. I am looking to get more animals. I already have that animal set. Oh, and this one down here is pretty good. If you're into airports, this 4 Plus Airport set right here, Central Airport, uh, regular $79.86, $30 off, $30.86 to be precise for this set here. $49 might be a good way to get an air, like a airplane fuselage pieces and also a little Octan service truck there and some great minifigures and also some great pieces in this piece or in that uh, thing there, which is like a little airport terminal. As you got some trans blue elements in there. That's actually a fairly decent set, $49, little airport fuselage, or airplane fuselage. Not a bad deal, there's quite a few of them there. Let's check out the other side here. And over on this side here, we got some new Lego in stock, which includes the new Batmobile there. Also, Escape from the Ten Rings for Shang-Chi, which looks like a really interesting, uh, I believe it's a movie coming out, right, for the 
uh, MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe, I believe. Also, this one here, which is on sale, $69.86, so you save $10 on that one there. That's with the Hulk minifig. Also, Loki, Iron Man, Thor, Captain uh, Marvel. So that's actually a fairly decent set there as well. And then we got some Ninjago stuff on sale. I've got to think about that airport set. Got some other great things over here as well, including this mech, which looks pretty awesome, a Ninjago mech. But not really any rollback prices here on this side of the Lego aisle. But look who's hiding right behind uh, Luke Skywalker here. Grogu and Mando. Interesting, interesting. I don't know, should I get that airport? Honestly, the deal to get would have been that party boat at that $69 price point. That is a really good deal for what I believe to be a very good set, actually. And I think I'm going to leave the airport set here as I personally don't have an airport right now. I'm stoked to get home and try out the new camera. Let's get to it. I guess maybe we'll try out that new toaster, too. That's going to be exhilarating. Holy crap. There's goldfish, but they're not goldfish. Or Mickey Mouse fish. That's pretty sweet. The big question is, how is that even possible? 27 cents? Gotta get a full crate, no question. Ladies and gentlemen, we came here to potentially check out the Lego aisle, maybe buy a toaster and get some milk. And as you can see, that plan did not stay true. Well, holy smokes, did we ever go a little hard today? We got all our groceries. Jose got that awesome uh, Mickey Mouse sweater there. Got my new camera, which is just amazing. Got some pizza. Yes, some Uncle Ben's. Some Lego Pab Cups, of course. You know, some good stuff. Also, we got this right here, which is the uh, Little Mermaid Thomas Kincaid frame that's going to go with the remainder of ours. So that puts us at six now. So we're pretty happy. Now let's get this uh, new camera Fire it up and try it out. Jules and Mary, hey, mic check, mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check, one, hey, mic check, macro check, macro check on my face. All right, everybody, so now we're filming on the new camera, and this is just point and shoot. I didn't uh, tinker with any of the settings, I'm just using the automatic setting on the new camera, stumbling a bit here, and also just using the regular mic on this new camera, which is the Sony Vlogger. You guys saw it there in the video. I like I like what I see on the screen. I hope it looks good for you guys. The background is quite blurry, but it's focusing on me like crazy. And even when we move around, it seems to de or seems to be uh, quite stabilized, and quite good. So that is pretty awesome. That's good news. And the neat thing is, is I got this little thing that I'm holding here, which is a tripod and also a selfie stick. So we can move it. I think the colors are really good. I think the audio looks like it's gonna be really good. And also the zoom, it's nice and slow actually. And I'm using the button on the zoom, or on the selfie stick. So it's sort of controlled by a remote control. Whoa, I'm gonna watch where I'm stepping though. So I think it looks pretty sweet. And it seems like it's got really good color. I think it'll have fairly good macro. Oh yeah, wow. That looks really good. Look how zoomed in it is, or like how focused it is on the ones up front. And then not the ones in the back. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. This is way better. Look at that macro. I love this. This is awesome. I'm stoked on it everybody. This is pretty sweet. So hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog style video today. The shopping extravaganza. Prepare yourselves for better audio and video because of this new camera. In my opinion, this is better than the GoPro and also the AX53 combined. Oh my gosh, look how crystal clear it looks. I hope it's this good on the computer and on YouTube. And once again, this is just like the automatic settings so yeah thank you as always for coming by i appreciate it you guys remember to smash that thumbs up and also subscribe to the youtube channel here for more great stuff coming out in the very near future i'm pumped i'm excited that was an awesome day everybody take care thanks for popping by